thanks for tuning in. Um, I thought it'd be quite interesting to show you what I carry in my lock style fishing box. If you're a pleasure angler and you've been around Grafham or Rutland during a big match, you'll see guys trailing boxes behind them, being q tool boxes, converted course fishing boxes, some of these, this is a pelly case. And you, you, you must think, well, what are these guys doing? They must be moving house or something, but that's not the case. We do carry a lot of kit, competition anglers, and it's mostly because we want to be prepared. So I can't vouch for what other anglers have in the box, but I can go through what I've got in mind. So I'll start with the top here. These are all my spare spools, and I've got some along this section as well. And it's important to have different lines for different occasions. And for team fishing, it's important to have the same lines, because there's no point in shouting over to Taff, I'm on my ghost tip, and Taff doesn't have a ghost tip. So, you know, most teams will be pretty clued up on that, and they'll have the whole nine yards as regards lines. Also, I keep uh, a couple of hats in my box. Um, for communication purposes, as well as obviously protection from fly hooks in the back of the head, the sun, various other things. So I've got two hats. I keep a buff for my neck, a woolly hat for the cold days, and something else that I've got in my box that might be interesting to you is that I keep this. Uh, this sits on my boat seat, and I've got my priest, so for the kill phase of the competition, I'm able to quickly dispatch the fish and get it in the bass bag to carry on fishing. And I've also got a watch. Now the watch serves two purposes. I can keep my eye on the time, because we obviously fish to strict timings, and if you're late, you're disqualified. So it's quite important to, uh, to always be aware of the time. I know a couple of guys that have been caught right out with that, and it's cost their team dearly. The second purpose for this is I always count my sunk line my sunken lines down on this watch. I don't count in my head because each time you do it, it will be slightly different. If you do it on the watch, you get exactly the same depth every time. And it does make a difference sometimes. So that's it. Uh, and also I can hook flies into the pad as I'm changing them during the match. And you know if it's been a bad day because this is absolutely covered in flies. If it's been a good day, there's one or two. Okay, I've got um, five big boxes of flies in here, and they're, they're all labelled up. So, you know, I'll just let you see this one. Uh, nymphs, I've got nymphs, boobies, dries, buzzers and blobs, and a working box. The working box is flies that are working that season, or team flies that are um, doing quite well. I keep uh, a number of different maps in my box so that I can mark them up during practice where I've caught fish. Uh, if we've got team zones for practicing, the map's handy to keep you on the straight and narrow. As well as the big boxes, I've got a top 10 box. Now, all comp anglers will have one of these, I would think. Uh, basically, the team, the night before, will sit and tie flies, or they'll take them from the main boxes, they'll put them into a little box. On the front here, I've got... Uh, the fly gauge so that I can see that all the flies that I'm tying on are within the rules and inside the box it's numbered 1 to 10 so we'd have a top 10 box and then if you're needing some help on the water somebody would shout over number 9 you'd look at number 9 and go yep okay change your flies as necessary so that's quite an important piece of kit uh, in this section here I've got a spare spool carrier uh, there's nothing on this one at the moment, in fact, I'll take the, the bung one out. So I always keep a bung set up uh, on one of these, and it's really handy. So competition fishing, you've got to maximise the time you've got to try and catch fish. So the sooner you can change lines, change the, the method you're fishing, the better it is for the competition. So I generally have a bung set up at all times. I have two sets of dry set up. And the other three spools are the flavour of the day. So if I'm fishing a team of nymphs, I'll have them all ready to go. So if you get in a tangle, there's no messing, it's straight off, and you can put your fresh team on and you're fishing again in no time. Also, in this section I've got my uh, 
powder for drying dry flies, mud for degreasing my line, and that's all in there. I've got spare tippet and also cast carriers. So once I've had enough tangles and I've gone through my, my pre-made casts, I've got spare ones so that I can just whittle them off really quick and I'll be fishing again. I also have a spare set of clippers in case the ones that I have my clippers on my life vest. Uh, but if I lose them, I've got a spare set in my box. I've also got a tape measure. Uh, this serves two purposes. If I get a, quite a big fish, I like to measure it. Uh, I don't much go with weight, I go with length. Uh, the other thing is when I'm making up casts, I can get it exact. So for the bung, if I'm, say I'm fishing 10 foot and I'm taking it 10 foot, it's definitely 10 foot. And that section pops out. And under here, what I've got is a little first aid box and I keep in headache tablets, uh, hay fever tablets, some elastoplast, just little things to, to get me through the day. I've also got some spare minikin loops, so if, if one of these fail, I'm able to replace it in the boat and carry on fishing. I've got a set of binoculars, and these are handy when you're looking for your teammates to maybe pass on information, or you're struggling yourself and you need a bit of help. You can locate where your pals are, go and find them, get right up beside them and ask them what's going on. I've also got a little empty jar and a marrow spoon. So practicing, once I've killed a few fish, get them spooned, see what they're feeding on. Quite important. Also in this section, I've got reels, two identical reels. And the idea of having two is if I want to practice with two rods set up, I can. But more importantly, they're exactly the same. So if one reel fails during the match, I'm immediately able to change the reel over and still have access to all my different lines. And what else? Let's have a look here. I've got sunblock. This is factor 15. I never use this. I've got factor 50 because I'm Scottish. If you're normal, you can use the 15. If you're Scottish, you've got to use factor 50. And last but not least, the all important sunglasses. Now, I carry two sets. Uh, I've got low lights for when the cloud covers mostly over and that's mostly all the time I go fishing. I'm always wearing these. And my other sets are just a set of normal st standard sunglasses for bright weather like we've got today. I would use them. So uh, I hope that's been of some interest. It, I've not given away any secrets here. All the teams now are, are so clued up on this sort of stuff. Uh, they're well drilled, well organised and really tough to beat. So uh, if, you, if you like it, great. If you don't, if you think it's overkill, well, you, you're obviously not that much into competition fishing. I quite enjoy it and, and it makes me smile. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.